Science. Technology. Engineering. Mathematics. STEM GPS, Graduation Pathway to Success Project. In 2011, Berry Community College secured a federal grant from the Department of Education to fund a five-year project that will prepare science, technology, engineers, and mathematics students for graduation, transfer to four-year institutions, and entry to professional fields. Some of the goals of this project are to increase the recruitment and retention of STEM students, to improve the graduation and transfer rates, to enable more database decision making that informs and improves student outcomes, program development, and articulation, and to better tie student services into academics. The STEM Student Union, or unofficially called the STEM Club, is a group of STEM students that work on very interesting projects on a weekly basis, exposing themselves to research projects and the application of the material they learn in class into actual assignments. Members of the STEM Student Union will work with faculty members receiving proper advice and guidance that will help them complete the amazing projects they're working on, such as the wind turbine, biodiesel generator, solar concentrator, electric car, and the UAV, or as we call it, the quadcopter. These kind of extracurricular activities and experiences look great on your transfer resume and will put you ahead of the game when applying to your dream four-year institution. If you are able to apply what you learn in class into real life applications, I can guarantee you that you will have a very successful career in the STEM field. In STEM, we work on different science projects. Uh, most of the ideas for the projects have come from professors and we always expand on them. We work in teams to accomplish, to complete the projects. It's a great place to come and work with others in a scientific, uh, creative setting. STEM Student Union had its origin in the summer of 2012 when I advised two students, two engineering students, uh, Jason Flores and Bilal Abraham, on uh, basically taking an existing building on campus, a small field house, and working on designing on how to convert that into a workshop that would be off the grid. But then along the way they invited their friends to uh, come help, and little by little we began to work on independent engineering and science projects that were energy related. And that uh, by the fall of 2012, a lot of thought it would be a great idea to start a club. We have many students as well as faculty involved in STEM Student Union. Many of our teachers are our mentors and work closely with us building different projects. We also have a part of BCC's great faculty supporting us. This is the UAV project. It stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. Uh, right now I'm holding a quadcopter UAV. We are actually working on autonomous flight right now. And on our last mission, this piece actually broke. And right now it was going to repair it by swapping out this, uh, this arm over here with a piece of aluminum square tubing that students actually manufactured in the labs themselves. It's a great project especially for engineering and uh, computer science majors because of all the heavy programming and the robotics involved. Oh, well, the electric car has really been an assembly project um, where students learn how to use sheet metal, bend sheet metal together to form this shape. This has mainly been aluminum construction and has been a unibody. Um, so students have learned how to drill, Clean and pop it together. Dr. Sontag has been a wonderful mentor with this program. I really enjoyed working with him and learned a lot about the South. Hello, this is the, our STEM wind turbine. So, how does the wind turbine work? The blades of the wind turbine turning in the air. Take, uh, change the kinetic energy of the wind into the twisting force that it turns the magnet uh, in the bottom cutting through the wire to create the electricity. And this was built by our STEM members during the summer which for testing on the roof of the car. 
in the microcontroller team, we learn about electronics and how to program uh, the microcontroller. Uh, in this team, you learn a lot about robotics, and we develop technologies such as the solar tracker we have here, which follows the sunlight. When I first joined STEM, uh, this the team was very small. It was consisted of two people, and there wasn't really any progress done to it. Over time, uh, we developed this uh, this new idea of the solar tracker. Hello, this is a solar concentrator, and it's made out of a parabolic mirror, which means that this has a focal point. When the sunlight hits the focal point, is the focal point is gonna heat up and start cooking. Eventually, we wanna have this in a large scale so we can boil water. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the algae biodiesel team. This is our photo bioreactor. It's essentially just a mobile container that holds or will hold the algae. We have our incubators. We're growing hopefully a super strain of algae. I had to split the incubators the other day and took the best one. So we'll see how that goes. Right here we have our uh, two 10 gallon tanks growing our awesome algae. And here I have our team members. Hey, Hi. what's up? Who are you guys? <laughs> I'm Ryan. And I'm Jackie. In STEM, you have the opportunity to gain hands-on experience on projects that are usually not available in a community college. You apply the concepts that you learn in class to real life. STEM is an awesome place where we learn a lot, do really cool things, make lots of friends, but more importantly, work on really cool projects. Even after graduating from BCC, we still come to STEM and we love it so much and we still want to be part of it. I think this team is very unique and what STEM offers is something very hard to find in a four-year school. If you want to join STEM, you can come to room S315 and ask us how to get involved.